Well, there they are, the Toronto Raptors at their first practice since their big win on Saturday. Tomorrow, they begin taking on the Golden State Warriors in Game 1 at the NBA Finals. And later today, the team will hold the franchise's first Finals Media Day. Now, Blake Murphy is the Raptors reporter for The Athletic. He joins us right now in studio. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me on. So let's talk about, about this historic moment, the historic moment for fans, but certainly also for the players on this team. So how are they handling this moment? Yeah, I think they gave themselves kind of a day to enjoy it and celebrate it. Um, you know, the night of was obviously you saw what happened on the court and how happy they were. They took a day off completely the next day, kind of a mental and physical recharge day. But Monday it was back at it. Um, uh, the, the talk generally in practice has been that the goal was not to get here. The goal was to win once they got here. So um, they have some guys who've been through this before who know how big this moment is. And they've mostly stayed on message that, you know, getting here was fun and we took a day for that. But now it's time to time to get to work. Yeah, get to work. A, a first, as we say, for the Toronto Raptors, but not a first for Golden State. The Warriors, uh, they've been here more than once, defending champions, in fact. So, so talk to us about this matchup. Is this a, a David and Goliath scenario? Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's a little bit like that because the Warriors have won three of the last four titles. Um, they are one of the best dynasties in modern sports. Um, they are also, though, without Kevin Durant, uh, the Raptors had a very good season. The Raptors are probably the best defense in basketball. Um, so if you look at, you know, how heavy uh, a favorite the Golden State Warriors are. Yes, they're favorites. I don't think people are ruling out the Raptors entirely, though. They have a legitimate chance here to, to make some noise. Okay, well, you mentioned Kevin Durant, but there's also OG and Ananobi for the Raptors also not playing because of injury. How's, how are injured players going to factor into this? I, I guess there's even a question as to whether or not Durant will join later in the series. Yeah, so Dur Durant traveled to Toronto, but there's speculation that he could be out until Game 3, possibly even longer. Um, he, he suffered a calf injury where normally the timeline is about a month. Um, so that, that would line up with Game 3. If he comes back, um, he's obviously an MVP caliber player, so that makes things a little more difficult for Toronto. And, and the toughest thing for the Raptors might be that stylistically, the Warriors are much different with and without him, so they'll have to kind of change the game plan. Uh, Ananobi, it sounds like the earliest might be Game 4 that he'd be back. Given that he's been out six or seven weeks now, it would probably be a smaller role if he did make it back. Okay, you know, what's interesting is that going on social media streams, there's a lot of people right now calling on Kawhi Leonard to stay in Toronto. <laughs> Don't leave leave Toronto we need Toronto so how important is he certainly was important to get to this point but how important is he going to be in this uh, NBA final he's huge and, and you know the the last couple weeks he's been almost without question the best player in basketball which is a lot of fun for, for the Raptors to kind of have that guy instead of running into that guy every year. Uh, you look at what's worked against the Warriors for other teams in the past. Well, LeBron is the only player who's beaten them in a playoff series during this run. So uh, you kind of need that level of a performance from Leonard, both offensively carrying a big scoring load and then defensively helping stop the best offense that maybe we've ever seen. Okay. You know, and the next one a bit more personal here, because as we say, you're the Raptors reporter for the Athletic. But obviously, to, you love your job, so, so you, you must also be a fan. What's it like for you to have been covering this team and now the first time ever, the NBA final, a game's going to happen here in Canada. Yeah, it's really cool. It's kind of surreal. Like the, the night that it happened, I was kind of, I kind of managed to stay all business and just focus on the work. And then the next day, it was like, wow, I'm going to get to cover an NBA finals. And like seeing the excitement in Jurassic Park and on the streets and on social media. And I've got friends from, from high school texting me excited about the Raptors. Um, to see the city and the sport have this kind of momentum has been awesome. Mm -hmm. Is it hard to be a professional through all this? Not really. It's, um, it, it sounds weird. Like, like you can get a little excited but you can't you know celebrate on, on press row or anything like that um, it's pretty easy to manage it and just kind of quietly appreciate the moment okay uh, what about predictions Unfortunately, I'm going to predict that the Warriors win. I, I think the Raptors probably have somewhere in a 35% chance to win this series, which is really good. If, if you told people you have a 1-3 in three chance to, to win the NBA Finals, I think they'd take it. Um, but the Warriors are the favorite, and, and if you drop Durant back into this series around Game 3 or Game 4, um, the difficulty goes up. So they're, they're, they're the favorites for a reason. Do you think it's going to be just a, the, the best of four, if you will? No, no, I don't think so. I think it's, a, I think it's going to be a longer series. I think this one goes 6 or 7, which is, uh, you know, the Warriors haven't been tested like that too too often in the NBA Finals. Okay well a lot of people excited. Uh, Blake thank you for setting us up. Thanks for having me on. That is Blake Murphy the Raptors reporter for The Athletic. And the situation